Reminds me of someone who used to do business with Tinch, but I'm not sure. Good work, Sidmus. Now that that's hand... We can move on. You got the orders from Tinch, right? What's the next address? Crow's Court on I've always wondered, what does he smell like? Rotting flesh, wild flowers. Does he ask you questions? I wonder when he'll speak to me. Here's one last lesson for old time's sake. The barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points, but he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. The Empress is dead. And the water's rising. You've got Rothwild packed into a crate bound for the frozen north, Dowd. Surprisingly clean work for a man with so much blood on his hands. Did the Empress change you? Or do you think this will help you dodge what's coming? You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. You were in a daze. I hope it was enlightening.
understand your curiosity. I'm strange. I was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jessamy and the little girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. If that satisfies you. Because you won't get more. I opt to just kill you. But I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters. Who were very impressed with you once upon a time. Stay away from me. There are great changes coming. And I'll expect you not to interfere. I have influence in places you won't expect. But as for Arnold Timsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Is that who you were looking for? Well, she's a bit of a bitch. And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. Stop! My guard! To me! We all depend on you, sir. There you go again, making me smile. I have an idea. Why don't you stay at the house tonight? I'll be working late, and there's more than enough room in my chambers for a delicate creature like you. Oh, no, sir. I wouldn't want to impose. Oh, it's no bother. We can share a bottle and pass the dreary hours together. I couldn't. My husband will be waiting. Hmm. It's only just occurred to me. The late coach isn't running tonight. It's not my fault. It's the regent. He said to keep it standing by, uh, just in case I'm needed. But, sir, I live out past the old walls. That's why I needed it. I know. That's why I'm concerned. The plague's headed west this past week. I've heard of weavers on Market Street. <coughs> Yeah. 
Yes. I'll just relax. Have a drink. Can't say I like that. He dies a lingering death.
citizens belonging to or offering aid to the Hatter criminal organization. Seen anybody with signs of sickness bug someone else? That horrible stench. <laughs> I could barely breathe. Oh, uh, General Turnbull. Yes, I was expecting you. Uh, please come. Ah, Timps. It smells like a weeper den. I thought we were secure. And we are. The neighborhood is swept three times a week. Barrister Timps! Please, call me Arnold. We're friends. Here, this will clear things up for you. The Regents arranged it. By the way, I don't think I ever got your first name. What is this? Is this a joke? I am not sure what you find funny about it. Barrister Timps, this is a letter from the Lord Regent dated a month ago. Stating that your building is to be seized by the state immediately due to massive infection outbreak. And that your personal assets are forfeit if you do not comply immediately. A month ago? Are you showing me this to try to convince me that you're above the law? What? Let me see that. This... this is impossible! I, I... Barrister, I am afraid I am going to have to take you into custody. And if I or any of my men contract the plague because of this visit, I'll see that your head rolls. No, no, no! This isn't the right document! This... Get him out of here before he starts bleeding from the eyes. And secure this court! It's under quarantine. Yes, sir. He fainted. Now what? I don't want to touch him. What if I get sick? I'll just... wait for him to wake up. Messing around and come out.
I saw Talia. She's waiting where she said she'd be. to the throne. Emily Caldwin is still missing. Every person with information that leads to her discovery will be granted a substantial reward. The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as agreed. That'll do nicely. Perhaps better. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older, and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night, we all went to Waverly Boyle's for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly, Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dow. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. Timshi's ruined. He'll rot in Cold Ridge Prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's... poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Are you ready to go? Let's go home.